Helping make your life easier. Moms Every Day. Hey guys, welcome to Moms Every Day. I'm Hattie Cheek. We have Dr. Willems back with us once again today from Cabell Huntington Hospital. And pretty much, you know, the majority of times we've come here, we've talked about overactive bladder quite frequently. It's a problem that a lot of people face. They don't like to talk about it. Last time, I believe we talked about a procedure called PTNS. Mm -hmm. All right, you're here to talk about something that's, what, an alternative to that or just a different kind of procedure that helps with overactive bladder? PTNS is posterior tibial nerve stimulation yeah. is what we talked about the last time. Right. What we're going to talk about today is something we've been doing for a lot longer. Okay. It's called Interstim. Interstim is a way to treat overactive bladder where it controls the nerve that controls the bladder. Okay. When you give medicines for overactive bladder, they control the muscle itself. But sometimes those medicines don't work or they cause side effects. By taking an electrode and placing that electrode alongside the nerve mm -hmm. that, supply, that supplies the bladder, you can modulate okay. or control the inputs of that nerve into the bladder. And that's a battery right there that you're holding? This is a battery. Okay, a battery right here. This simply just, this this will go inside of you. This goes up under the skin. Wow. Uh, and you don't see anything. There's no external um, uh, wires or, or leads. This will control um, and you live normal lives um, and controlling your bladder. All right, and, and, and you know how does it how does it help? I mean, the vibrations or what does it do exactly? We're not exactly sure the exact technology, but we do believe it kind of reboot. <laughs> it kind of reboots the computer. Yeah. What happens when your computer doesn't work? You turn it off, and for some reason, when you turn it back on, it we works. We all know that happens all the time. That's kind of the form. That's kind of the way neuromodulation works, huh. and that's that's what this does. It's a neuromodulatory effect. All right, and you said it is different than PTNS. That kind of works with the muscles. Is that what you were saying the difference was? Actually, PTNS is also a neuromodulation, okay. but PTNS is not more is not permanent. You have to get retreated over and over again. With Interstem, you put it in once, and it's more of a long-term effect. We use Interstem on those patients who have a very active lifestyle, who can't come into the office for their urgent PC, someone who wants to be one and done, mm -hmm. um, as opposed to someone who's not a good anesthesia candidate, um, um, they may want to do the urgent urgent piece, <clears throat> the urgent PC. Yeah, at what point do you have to get to to have this done? I mean, how how significant of a problem, how long does overactive bladder have to be part of your life? Well, typically to be a candidate, you need to have symptoms for more than one year. You need to have failed behavior modification, and you also need to have failed at least two medication trials. And if you do that, then you're a candidate for what we call tier three therapy, which is Botox, um, urgent PC or Interstem. Okay, and those are the three procedures or the three treatments that you can get for overactive bladder? Yes, ma'am. Botox is one of them. Botox is a medicine that we place into the bladder that does affect the muscle, that causes a, a, a partial paralysis of certain parts of the bladder and thereby control this sensation of urgency frequency. All right, and then when it just comes to overactive bladder, I mean, what is the frequency that you see coming into your office? How many people are dealing with something like this from day to day? Overactive bladder affects a lot of people, about 17 17 million Americans are affected by this problem. 17 million Americans. Yeah, when you compare that to diabetes, it's more prevalent than diabetes. More prevalent than diabetes. And yeah. we've been talking about that a lot and how, uh, you know, how jarring it is, the numbers. Yeah. And here in the tri-state, it's a big, uh, a big thing. Is it is it large in the tri-state compared to other areas, or are we just right around the... It's just across the border. Across uh, I, mean, the border. I, mean, I mean, across the, the whole country. Um, people's lifestyles because of uh, uh, sodas and coffees and, and choices that they make affect overactive bladder. But also just variations, like just who they are, who their parents were, I mean, their genetics, um, um, uh, what medications they're on, whether they have diabetes or not, all mm -hmm. affect their ability to go to the restroom too much or too little. And you had mentioned before that when you fail to be self, you, when you, you fail to change things about yourself, what are those behaviors that people are typically failing to change that lead them to needing this kind of treatment? <sighs> Well, you, you've got to watch what you drink. If you drink a lot of soda, a lot of water, a lot of coffee, you're going to use the restroom a lot. Right. So you have to be honest with yourself. Am I doing things in my lifestyle that are causing my bladder symptoms? And if behavioral modifications don't work, then you try medications. And if medications either have bad side effects or they just don't work, then you move on to tier three therapy. All right. So if anybody seems to think, okay, this is happening way too often, this is an issue, they can always come to see you. What, what are those steps going to be like? They just call the office and kind of go from 
there? Actually, at our pelvic floor center, we will start with an algorithm. We will start teaching them about their bladder, what they need to do, how to work through the process to get control of their symptoms. All right, so it's just going to be a whole kind of educational thing mm -hmm. from start to finish. They'll learn how to try and modify it themselves, but if it can't happen, they've got procedures just like the one that you brought, Interstim, PTNS, all those good things. Absolutely. All Give right, Dr. Williams, thanks for being here. Thank you. If you need any more information, you know where to go. We say it every day. Just head to our website, WSAZ.com. Click on that Moms Every Day tab. You can rewatch the interview. A lot of good info there in case you missed it. Also, remember, we do have a special coming up. That is December 12th from 11 a.m. until noon. That's surviving the holidays. You don't want to miss it. you got to survive those holidays. We thank you for being with us on Moms Every Day. Of course, we'll be right back here tomorrow for more moms. Thanks. Have a good day.